Let's learn how to use audio effects in our productions. Now we're talking about sound effects and the fun stuff. So what we're gonna do is drag our voice file that we have been using simply from this over here, if you have it in your files, or just simply open the actual uh, files that I've given you, the project files, and go in and just drag the voice. As simple as that. Next, you want to look at number five. It's SFX, the sound effects. And these are a lot of fun. We're going to learn how to use these in your productions. All you have to do is find the place you want to introduce the sound effect. So let's try here. Let's become experts at Adobe Audition. That's one potential spot. Uh, we can also do... Um, we can also do here. And one of your mistakes may become a masterpiece. We can do, let's see. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. That's a good part. So we're going to drag. Again, we're going to drag it to don't be afraid to make mistakes. If you want to know where that is on the timeline, look between 20 seconds and 25 seconds. It's right here. So go ahead, either watch or go and follow along and pause this video. We're going to cut everything around it and then delete it. Okay. So we want to introduce the sound effect right after there. Um, we can either move this and put the sound effect here and have the clip run all the way through, or we can just have that sound bite and then have the sound effect. So I'm going to do it two ways and not delete everything to begin with just to show you. So let's try this. So that's a sound effect example. Uh, let's see what the second one is. That's not, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that one. So we're gonna do. This is almost like a rewind sound. We're going to cut everything around the rewind sound, and we are going to then highlight them or click them, and then hit the delete button on our keyboard. Then we're going to put it right between. And as you can see, I'm hitting this mute button so it doesn't make horrible noises when I drag this around and we're gonna play this with don't be afraid to make mistakes because practice makes perfect so that's how you introduce a sound effect simply download the sound effect I provide you with some you can use in your own productions they are copyright free so feel free to use them uh, but what I recommend you do is find a place to download this audio. Either use audio blocks or find copyright free content. Or what's really fun is making your own. Hey, why don't you just go ahead and, you know, grab a cup and, and drum on it. Or uh, go ahead and rewind an actual VHS tape or something and uh, see what it sounds like. So I really recommend... Uh, introducing sound effects into your productions because they're going to make them fun. But if you're using serious sound effects, they're going to give it a whole new level of depth. It's as simple as cutting the sound effect and dragging it in. Lots of people prefer to keep that sound effect separate from their voice track because instead of putting it in background, you may want to make a VFX or, um, sorry, SFX, a sound effects um, menu item so or, or a track so that it's separate from your background music there's so many different ways but if you're just playing to have one track feel free to drag them together like that and then uh go ahead and uh make more productions because the more you practice this the more seamlessly you're going to be able to integrate sound effects into your voice recordings enjoy